So valence electrons of iron atom. So iron is actually a very, very unique uh, element. When we talk about iron, iron here exists in terms of what it is, is a multivalent compound, right? When we talk about multivalent, we talk about uh, uh, atoms that have different charges, right? Can they, they have, uh, they, what they can have is they can have different charges. So, so Fe is iron, right? Fe exists in two different uh, states, you can say, or charges. Actually, not states, it's, it's more so charges. So Fe can be two plus or Fe can be in a three plus electron configuration. So these are both charges of um, their multivalent metal compounds. So again, more commonly, so iron is multivalent, copper uh, and uh, what else, silver um, and other kind of metals are all multivalent metal compounds. So we talk about valence electrons, it's a bit harder for us to say what 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 are the valence electrons of an iron atom, but we have to, we have to talk about something called uh, electron configuration when we talk about a valence electron. So what we can do is we can actually draw out, draw out our electron configuration for iron and for the sake of time, I'm not going to draw it out, actually, because I only have about 10 minutes left, and I really want to get through the other questions. So I'm going to see here what the solution is, and I'm going to see that um, for iron, uh, for iron, it doesn't it doesn't actually follow this one here. It follows something like uh, it follows something like this. The electronic configuration of iron is this here. It has 26 electrons, right? So uh, I'm going to verify that iron indeed has 26 electrons. So what they can do is they drew out the electron configuration of iron, right? So iron has 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p2, 3d6, and 4s2, right? So 4s2, um, let me just double check that. So 1s2 is 1, 2, that's good. 2s2 is these two. 2p6 is this block here. 3s2 is here. 3p uh, 3d6 is here and 4s2 is here 4s2 would, would make it here right and then it would be whatever one two three four five six it would be four four it would be a three in the uh, 3p block here so that's what they did here 3s2 and 3p 3 3d6 is here and then it, 3p2 would be uh would be one and two i think that's actually the electron configuration of titanium i don't think that's the electron configuration here 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3d6 and then 4s2 and 3p2 would make it would have titanium let me just do a quick google search i don't think this is electron configuration of iron let me, uh, electron configuration of iron. Oh, I, 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 well, it really depends on the charge here, right? Because I don't know if it's uh, Fe2 plus or 3 plus here. So if it's just iron, I'm going to say it's just simply Fe. Because I don't know what the charge here is, right, of Fe here. So, because um, I have, uh, this iron belongs here. And I don't know what charge it is, right? So I'm going to assume that it would have the uh, same same electron configuration as kind of this 4s2 here in this calcium here, because I don't know what the charge is. So that's what the electron configuration is, 4s2 here, right? This is the shortened form of the electron configuration. So uh, they also drew an atom here. So therefore, it's they drew a distribution, right? So they, again, they have 1s2 has two, two, uh, two electrons, 2s2 has two, 2p6 has six, 3s2 has two, so on and so forth. And then you realize that the last block in the last valence electrons here, you have 3d, 3d6, uh, and 4s2. So six plus two means it has iron, has eight valence electrons, right? You're adding these exponents here, right? Because 3d6, I have six electrons in that shell, and then 4s2 is I have two electrons in that shell as well but again they're all in the same energy level right they're all in that um in the 4s2 uh in the 4s2 block which means um it's because that's on the uh, the outside energy level so i have one two here and then one two three four five six these all of these electrons here uh contribute to uh, the valence electrons because they're all they all they all participate in bonding when we talk about valence electrons it's very very hard because what it does is it, it forces us to use a kind of a bohr rutherford approach which is bohr rutherford model which is uh technically incorrect because we have to actually use the uh 
the we have to use the electron configuration model so when we talk about valence electron traditionally it's more so oh it's just the electrons on the outer shell right but in this case valence electrons states that it's these electrons that are stated are uh, needed for bonding and all of these eight electrons are responsible for bonding and that's how we get these charges here right? fe2 plus and three plus is simply just the rearrangement of these valence electrons here so this collision is correct um i say i uh, i like the solution in terms of what they did was they, they actually had the model here but I would have liked um, if they included Fe2 plus and Fe3 plus because that's how, what the charges that are usually pres present in an iron electron, right? So again, this uh, valence electron, it can fluctuate depending on what the charge is. So I'm going to say here, solution is correct for for a neutral for neutral Fe atom. However, would have liked would have liked to see solutions for Fe. This is two plus and Fe three plus as well, because iron is a multivalent, multivalent atom. So I'm going to say this is just solutions correct here.